In exactly one week, the St. Paul City Council will vote on a proposal that would require changes to how firearms are stored. It would require guns to be stored and secured in a home or in a car, and for ammunition to be stored separately. Mayor Melvin Carter believes fewer stolen guns will result in fewer victims. But opponents of the proposal are now calling out the mayor and his father. Both have had guns stolen from them over the past few years. Lou Raguse is here now to explain. Lou? Randy and Julie, our news partner NPR News has reported extensively over the last several years that Mayor Melvin Carter had two guns stolen from his house and his father, who's also named Melvin Carter and is a retired St. Paul police officer, has reported losing three guns himself. We are expecting responsible gun owners to do their part to protect our community because we know that loose guns falling into the wrong hands can have a devastated, devastating effect. Loose guns, as referred by Mayor Melvin Carter in his State of the City speech last month, can end up being used in a string of crimes. For example, in March 2020, someone fired four 380 caliber shells in the direction of this house on Western Avenue. One bullet went through the wall and landed in the bedroom where a 14-year-old girl was sleeping, according to St. Paul police reports. One month later, right next door, someone fired at least two 380 shells in the direction of this house, one bullet going through the window into a room where a seven-year-old girl was playing on the floor. A year later, someone reported shots and found two 380 casings on the ground at the corner of Payne Avenue in Geranium. Five months after that, a 15-year-old boy was shot in the cheek while standing in front of a house on Beaumont Street. Two 380 casings were found on the ground. That 380 caliber Glock was finally recovered under the passenger seat of a car in a traffic stop last year. And according to a St. Paul police memo, it was linked to all those shootings and traced back to its original owner, Melvin Carter Jr., retired St. Paul police officer and father of Mayor Melvin Carter. The elder Carter reported it stolen, possibly from his unlocked car in June 2017, three years before the first documented crime it was used in. In an interview with NPR News, the mayor's father apologized to the city and the families of those affected and said, though he is a highly trained professional, he has learned from the incident about safe storage of firearms. Rob Dorr from the Gun Owners Caucus says that the new gun storage ordinance would basically constitute victim blaming and what happened to the mayor's father shows that it can happen to even a well-trained professional. Mayor Carter told Care 11 News that he and his father always kept their guns safely stored, but he didn't directly address whether the proposed ordinance would have made a difference. Julie. All right. Thank you, Lou.